What's up guys, Laura Medic One here, and today I want to go over some issues that I've been seeing lately with the steel formix and valve covers that are being bashed in. Let me show you why and what the deal is with these that whenever you drop these trimmers and it's just not a good deal. While I'm doing this, I'm going to try to explain. There's been a lot of, I'm talking a lot of confusion on the operation or the design of this engine. I've had many, many, many comments saying that that's a four cycle engine, more medic. You don't have to mix the oil and the gas on a four cycle engine. You're an idiot. You're an idiot if you have to mix, if you think that you have to mix. Uh, gas and oil together to run a four cycle engine. You're wrong. We'll cover those comment issues here in a little bit, but I want to get down to the meat and potatoes of the issues that I've been seeing. Whenever this guard is mounted on there and it's screwed down and you drop this trimmer on top here, this is just plastic. It'll give. But if you hit it hard enough and you dent this valve cover in, What's going to happen? It's just like on a Honda push mower. You can actually dent it so far that it holds the rocker arm. Well, you know what? It's not going to do it on this one. This one is the valves are up here. So if you dent it on this back corner, what's going to happen? It's going to dent in. You have a possibility of bending a push rod. But what happens is these two corners right here of this rocker arm, with this valve cover dented in, and this engine's running, as the rocker arms are going up and down, these two corners right here literally will wear a hole right through the valve cover, as we can see clearly right here. Now, the issue with the valve cover having those two holes in it, now you have an air leak, and it's sucking air. It's going to lean your mixture out, and the engine will not run correctly. It may run a little bit, but nine times out of ten, it's going to be idling super fast. Uh, you're not going to get any idle out of the engine. It's just going to be like it's over speeding. And check out the, uh, the service ticket. The only thing that I got was vibration, gearhead won't stop, I'm guessing that's turning, guard needs replaced. Okay, so back to the I'm an idiot comments. This, even though it's a four cycle engine, it has a two cycle style crankcase. It's got valves, it's got a camshaft and you run mixed gas when the mixture of oil and gas goes into the carburetor it first goes into the intake valve and charges the cylinder now this carburetor is filthy but right here in this intake track here's your carburetor intake manifold and if we look right here is a passage that goes right down into the intake track here. I got one torn down on the bench over here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now this is an FS111. This is the more modern four mix engine. I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to show you. I'm going to go right down through this passage and you can see that we have an open gaping hole right in the intake stream of this engine. This is where your top end is going to get fuel mixture. Of course when the valve is open uh, and the charge goes into the cylinder you're lubricating the uh, piston rings and cylinder walls. And this is why it's so important to have a sealed good valve cover with no holes. The charge comes up, fills this cavity with oil and gas mixture, 
atomized oil and gas mixture, not liquid fuel. The fuel mixture vapors fill this cavity and then they run down the tubes for the push rods. So you have two big gaping holes going down into the engine now. So what that's going to do is going to let the fuel mixture right down these tubes where the push rods go. I actually dropped one and fills this cavity with lubrication. Then it goes right in here. This passage goes right into the engine. I, I can touch the crankshaft right now. And it's got the cam gear it has an air void. So that's how the bottom end, all the bearings and all the internals of the engine get its lubrication. So with a properly sealed crankcase, crank seals are good, your back plate is good, your where the crankcase uh, halves come together, make sure it's good. You don't have any air leaks, just like I've preached to you guys in the past. You can pressure test these just like a two-stroke. If you have uh, any crankcase leakage at all, then you need to fix the leaks or you're not going to have, the engine's not going to run right. I have had these valve covers fail in several different ways. I've had them knock holes in them like that or wear holes in them such as that right there. I've actually had the centers break out of them and just basically come off because there's nothing to attach the valve cover. This one was a easy find because the valve cover was just rattling around in there. The valve cover gaskets. These are super bad about going bad. See how crumbly that is? This is a air leak just asking, put, I mean, just begging to be an air leak because it's just old and crusty. That's basically the, uh, you know, the design of a four mix engine. You have the fuel and uh, air charge or fuel and oil charge uh, goes in to the cylinder through the intake valve but it, like I said it also has a port here that lubricates the rest of the engine it just makes it it makes a path it comes out here down here down into the bottom end of the engine and lubricates everything it does not have a crankcase uh, with an oil reserve so you know that's just it's a hybrid four slash two cycle engine it, it works great when they're running and if you remember in my previous videos about some melted camshafts I tell you what steel has listened and I'm not saying to me I'm just saying probably due to numerous warranty claims they have changed this back cover and it's got a ramp now or a funnel if you will when this engine is running it's directing more oil right on that camshaft lobe. It's basically dumping the oil right on that camshaft lobe. And I think that this is going to be the answer to our issue with melting camshafts down. Alrighty guys, I hope that this has cleared up some major confusion. Got a little, look at there. You ain't getting dirty, you ain't working. Anyway, hey, if this content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there subscribing, click the bell so that you get all my new notifications and videos. Y'all have a good Wednesday. More Medic One.